You're not gonna dance? A little bit. Ooh, look at that. Very pretty. Gypsy Blanchard always listened when her mother told her to do something. How old are you? You're one. I love you. Gypsy lived her life by the phrase, mother knows best. Gypsy was born perfectly healthy. Everything seemed fine. About three months old, Didi told me that she started having seizures and sleep apnea. Where's BB? Don't know her. Didi told me that Gypsy had problems with her salivary glands. One of her seizures made her paralyzed from mid-thigh down. Didi said she wasn't going to live to be 20 years old. When people would ask me, oh, what Gypsy has wrong with her, I'm like, there was so much. The list is shorter of what she doesn't have. Gypsy was wheelchair bound and suffered from muscular dystrophy and leukemia. Neighbors say the two were inseparable, and they were very friendly to those who lived in the neighborhood. Sweet, loving, caring, just full of life. Hurricane Katrina played a big part in their lives. Their house was devastated. They got relocated to Missouri. At that point, she's telling me she's got cancer. She's shaving her head. So that was pretty elaborate to go from chromosome disorder now. Now she's got cancer. Gypsy and Dee Dee Blanchard, a mother-daughter team who came to Springfield as self-described Hurricane Katrina evacuees, with a story of suffering that brought an outpouring of support. When they moved into their home here, it was built by Habitat for Humanity. Hundreds of volunteers worked on the home. It was built with special wheelchair modifications for her daughter. It just proves that happy endings are not just in fairy tales, they're real. Darling, you